will have this morning the opportunity to know better our project first, uh, the Green Small Smart Cities. And then we have three uh, special guests from Vietnam that today will explain their activities, the opportunities uh, uh, to do business in Vietnam, in particular in Da Nang City. Uh, so thank you uh, to you to be here with us. And uh, I um, introduce uh, uh, the first uh, speaker, our uh, coordinator, Gabriela Paredes Valle, is the coordinator of the project from Solartis. So please, Gabriela, the floor is yours. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you so much, Katia, for your introduction, and thank you everyone for your time and assistance here today and for enjoying us. Uh, I will share with you some slices about our project. So let's uh, find them. Okay. I think you can see my screen now. Yes. Yes, we can see, Gabriela. Perfect. Thank you so much. So I will start um, just uh, giving a little bit overview of our project, starting with our consortium members. Uh, as Katia introduced me, I am Gabriela Paredes from Solartis. We are the coordinators of the Green Small Smart Cities project, and our our sector is solar energy. We also um, have a Catalan Warner Partnership. It's an association for a water sector and it's based in Girona, Spain. And also we have a Green Tech uh, cluster of energy technologies from Italy. Uh, and it's Katia, our representative of uh, Green Tech. And we have also the MCC uh, Masovia cluster. It's a key ICT technologies. And we have uh, Eva Revoche uh, as representative of uh, of uh, the Polonian, the Polish cluster, and Nano Progress is a um, nanotechnology cluster based in Czech Republic, and we all are part of the Green Small Smart City um, Consortium. Our project is an European project uh, founded by the Cosme Program. They call Go Cluster Go International, and well, here you can see some of the uh, the main objective and goals that our project uh, have. And basically, what we are looking with this project is to spread the use of sustainable and technological solutions from Euro to less developed countries in the world. And uh, how we are uh, trying to do that is uh, supporting the internal internationalization strategy of our members, which mostly are SMEs. So uh, to develop the concept of green small smart cities, uh, we have the opportunity to analyze uh, three markets and different uh, continents, one in Africa, one in South America, and one in, in Asia. Uh, for Asia, we have developed um, a table score, as you can see on your screen, and um, based on different indicators, uh, we have selected uh, Vietnam as the um, potential market. And in Vietnam, we decided to develop our second exploratory mission, exploratory mission to Da Nang City, uh, who took place from 12th to 7, 16th of September. So we have the opportunity to visit the city and to know more how they are working on becoming a green and a small smart city, as um, they will be here uh, presenting, we will be here with them presenting some of their strategies and how we could possibly in the future collaborate together. And here also you could have uh, some different indicators that why we decided to promote the Green Small Smart City um, concept into the Nan City. And we also uh, have some uh, trends that we follow 
uh, knowing that Danang is growing really fast and we could see it now, we could see it when we visit the city and we met with wonderful people there. And I will thank uh, them again for their hospitality. They were so kind with us. They were mm, very helpful with us. Uh, we know a lot about the culture and why they are developing their uh, concepts for um, becoming more green and technological um, sustainable. So this is my um, introduction from here. So I will um, thank you again. And please, Katia, could you introduce the next? Picture? Thank you. Thank you, Gabriela. Uh, just to say that we have uh, elaborated a report about our mission and uh, is available for you. Uh, you can ask uh, to your cluster manager if you need to know more about uh, our mission with some more information. Uh, so uh, thank you. Now I would ask uh, to uh, Miss uh, uh, Frank. I'm sorry for the pronunciation. The first, uh, the first difficulty to work with the Vietnam for us is to say correctly your names and uh, I'm sorry for that and you have so um, you are so patient with us with that that is very very kind uh, from you thank you very much for us it's very difficult but he is uh, she is uh, with uh, with us is from Enovu uh, a startup uh, working in ICT sector very very active very interesting environment they are managing a lot of activities we uh, were very um, pleased to meet you in Da Nang. It was a wonderful discover for us, your, your company uh, and your coffee. <laughs> she will explain us better why. So the floor is yours. Please uh, make your presentation. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Katia, for your uh, complimentary for our company. So I'm going to share a bit about my uh, company now. Yeah. Uh, you can see my presentation already, right? Yeah, okay. If you can put, yes, like that is better. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for your team come to Da Nang and uh, I'm very happy to have the chance to meet you last time and very proudly to be here today present for our for more than 200 people of Innovo about our story, about our company and how we work here in Da Nang City now. Uh, so I would like to say uh, to start the story about our company is this is like a journey to a dream. We have a dream that uh, attack with the city we are living now is Da Nang as you can see in the pictures here and also uh, some activities that in, in Da Nang City uh, for the people, especially in the IT uh, community. Yeah, so uh, from our point of view, Danang in the future is not only the most worth living and busy city, but also it will be the city for the innovation and technology. And somehow it will be uh, have to develop the competency and wisdom development for Vietnam central people. Uh, with that point of view about Danang, uh, we determine who we are and what is our mission, vision for our company later. So, Innovo. Yeah. Uh, no, please, it was somebody with the mic uh, turned on. Please continue. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, we determine who we are is a group of innovators designed to improve the quality of life through technology and continuous innovation. We have uh, more than 11 years of development already with five different sub brands and almost 250 talent members already. Uh, besides that, our vision we determine to become a unique and impactful only one hub for tech product development and consulting in Vietnam. Uh, together, we make a different with useful and impactful technology solution on an internal scale and enable innovators to become global citizens one day. So from all of that point of view, uh, we specify our value through our name. As you can see here, we are X character in our name from E. 
uh, is empowerment. We would like to empower everyone join with us, both in internal, internal of Innovo or the external community outside, and empower each other to get the goal together and develop together. The second is Novo is new. We like to do the new thing, make the new tune, uh, do everything new, and also it should be outstanding. Uh, the pro the service we provide for the client, the partner, uh, must be higher level than this good one. Unix as well. We would like to make it unique, and also the way we make the team to be unique in our way. And the vibe we would like to create an environment that. Uh, have a lot of energy, emotion, uh, loving, sharing to everyone. And one for one, we have a tech together in uh, both uh, create, develop together for everyone and care about each person in the team. Yeah, so uh, a bit about uh, the history here. Uh, in 2011, we just have uh, to, to 2015, we had 10 members, six project and six client. But until now, we grow up and scale up to, to uh, 210 plus member already with two with 150 projects and 80 more than 80 clients from around the world. Uh, mainly, the mainly market is in Australia. Also, we have the client from Canada, America, Germany, France also in Singapore and Indonesia. Yeah. And this slide shows somehow about our ecosystem. Um, we would like to build the Innovo as an ecosystem, an all-in-one hub in Da Nang. So you can see the main brand here is Innovo IT Solution. We provide the software and product development. Also, we have the InnoStar, a product design and digital branding agency. Inside the Innovo Group, we have the Innovo Cafe, uh, a tech week Innovo Cafe that uh, provides the co-working and co-living cafe services. Uh, then we have the Technology Training Center and Innovate, a product development company. Uh, this is our founder and CEO, Ms. Zhang, that uh, we had the time to meet together last time. And her partner is Mitu Nguyen, the co-founder and CIO of company. They both uh, study, has time study in Australia. And then they back to Vietnam, uh, build up the dream in Da Nang, uh, the hometown. And also we have the... I'm so sorry for this stuff. We have the CTO here. Uh, in our team as well. So this slide will be sent to you after the workshop and you can see the detail later. I will skip this one and um, go to the focus slide for you. Uh, about the brain Innovo IT solution, we focus on the mobile development, branding, web development, product design and development, digital strategy and quality assurance. For Innosta agency, uh, there are four main services is product design, web development, digital branding, and product launch services. In our space, as I said, uh, the co-working space uh, provide the co-living, meeting, event space services. And you can see the overall process here of Innovo from the gathering and analysis uh, until scope, uh, wide frame, design, develop, testing, launching, and maintaining for the pro our technology product and in action, we have the daily stand up every day, uh, QA process set together or meeting with the client to develop the product and uh, design, web framing, and maintain the product as well. Uh, here is some uh, just for your reference about our development stack in the project for design tools or the stack in IT that we use in the project. Also, some slide about our product here. I will just go very fast because uh, the limited time for us. Sumatos is one of the... You have time. Do you, you have time, please? Don't, yeah. don't argue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We know that your space is an open space with a lot of activities. So this uh, noise is just your brain working. So yeah. we know that. Uh, we know the space. <laughs> yeah, don't but worry. So I would like to uh, make sure that everyone has time to talk later. Yeah. 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 
yeah so i will just focus on some main point and uh, you can see the detail in the slide that will be sent to all of you later uh, smartos is one of our product here uh, uh, about the it's a, a shop where that help to automate the manual tasks uh, efficiency uh, to manage the co-working and co-living space also we have the kuho app um, and here is our uh, as our some our reward uh, when we contribute to the community uh, or win the solution award in Vietnam. I'm so sorry for a bit of noise uh, outside. And here is some uh, reference about Innovo in media. Um, and uh, I am listing uh, some testimony from uh, our client. The biggest client is from Kindicare in Australia. Also, we have the client from Asiona team in Australia. Some other client around the world as well. The most important part that I would like to impress here is uh, our country in our company. That uh, Innovo is a happy family. And we, and we can we can hear that from here. We can yeah, hear. <laughs> together we, we grow. Uh, I think somehow you can feel it when you joined with us here last time. So uh, from the client, international client, when they come here, we let them start join with us, not just only in the project, but we also in our activities as well, bring them to discover the. Um, so sorry, it's the noisy outside. Uh, we bring them to the art activity in Da Nang City to let them discover the city here. Also, uh, for the staff, uh, you know, in Da Nang, uh, the human resort is very important, especially in the IT major. So we create the good environment for them to work and the art activity to let them enjoy the working life here as health check every year or a club for them like football, badminton, board game, you know, yoga, English club as well, something like blah blah. Uh, do the other big activities or uh, birthday and team building every month. Uh, and the most important to us is the sharing country for both internal and external. We have internal sharing every Friday uh, for every team uh, to let them learn knowledge and experience um, from each other then anyone in our company can stand up and share about anything they want and um, practice their skill in front of people for external sharing we let people go out join a lot of events and uh, talk share about our experience and knowledge to everyone to have the community outside especially the community in it design and marketing major uh, also, here is some uh, community sharing that we host and organize in our space, uh, especially the series of Thank God It's Sharing Time that we focus on the three main topics in uh, IT design and marketing. We will invite some other guests from the ad company around Da Nang to join and public the event to let everyone can join and learn together. Yeah, and some other company support. <laughs> picture here shows us how, how, how we join with the university around here, the community in the technology here. And somehow we contribute the community via the charity activities and events as well. Uh, also, we uh, go to Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City to share our story to the community of startup and brain workers as well. So I think uh, because of that uh, culture of sharing, we have honor to host, uh, to, to be chosen and host a roundtable discussion uh, with the US, US, United States ambassador and 10, 10 small growing business here just last month. And um, also we have the chance to welcome the delegation from Green and Small Smart City Consortium to come with us last time as well. And uh, yeah, that's uh, our story, Innovo in Da Nang. I hope uh, you can uh, get more information from uh, our company like us. And uh, thank you for the time watching. Yeah.
thank you. Thank you very much. We will have the opportunity to make some uh, questions uh, at the end of our webinar. So you can write in the chat your question and uh, uh, indicate uh, uh, to whom is the question. So thank you very much. Uh, you can see that if you, <laughs> yes, like that, we, we learn that. Okay, so thank you. If you need some partner in the ICT sector, they are very, very active and uh, proactive also. So thank you. Uh, now we'll have uh, another interesting project uh, that impressed us uh, in Da Nang. Uh, Fiber Tech, a solar recycling project. We have uh, Mrs. Min, the project secretary, uh, to present the project, supported by Mr. Ken. So thank you both to be here with us. We are very curious uh, about your project because it's uh, the sector that we are interested in, the solar energy sector. So please, the floor is yours. You can share your slides. Yes, thank yeah, you. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. They are coming, yes. Perfect. Please. Yeah, yeah. Um, good morning, good afternoon, maybe, or thank you very much for letting me here to present about our project, solar panel recycling. Um, let me introduce myself first. My name's Mun. I'm the secretary of the project and also a member of Fitech, Fitech Johnstock Company. Today, I would like to present about our project, Solar Panel Recycling. Well, um, as the started off from uh, Blombert, a global, a global financial and economic uh, group, it is uh, as forecast that the renewable energy uh, industry in the world uh, could uh, grow grow rapidly in uh, the future, including uh, the um, solar power industry. In Vietnam, uh, the increasing production uh, growth rate of more than 1,000 times from uh, four years, uh, from 2014 to 2018. It is expected that the total amount of solar power in our country will reach 20 gigawatt by 2030, contributing 14% to the national electricity output. However, uh, the waste of this uh, uh, from our industry yeah, has sorry, been... Sorry to, uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. We, we just see the first slide, Mr. Ken. I don't know the slides are not... Running. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Just, yeah. just to see if you have another slide after the first one with the title. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah. Because yeah. we can we can see just the first now. I don't know if it's a problem with the platform or is like that. I'm yeah. sorry. Thank you. Thank you. My I keep on going. However, the waste from this form of industry has been still a painful problem. So far, we haven't had any clear solution to deal with them. Stemming from this reasons, the solar panel recycling project was born. And the unit which covered the project is Fire Tech Johnstock Company. Nowadays, we are facing a lot of general disease. Uh, where does it come from? Uh, on your screen is the picture of the structure of a solar panel. And we can easily find that there are a lot of heavy metal in a solar panel. And heavy metals can enter your body in different ways. You uh, might consume them in the water you drink, and that will lead uh, the dengue disease, such as cancer, uh, chains, or certain dead cows. With our protect, uh, we will help to protect the environment from the waste of solar panel. Uh, 
in, uh, moreover, um, the treatment to industry um, waste has been a burden from for our business, so that uh, we with our with our project we would like to uh, spare the burden from business uh, with uh, in our country. About our team, may I sincerely introduce our founders. The first one is Professor of Dr. Le Thanh Nhân. He is uh, well known as a director of Da Nang in the International Institute of Technology. We call Denis, and he is currently a professor of both Costa de Aju University and Da Nang University. At Denis, we could uh, work with his a lot of experts and researchers from major university in France and Vietnam. The second one is Mr. Do Thế Cân. He is also present here. He is now a lecturer of Da Nang Science of Technology, and he is a doctor of philosophy with many years of experience in uh, the field of uh, mechatronics and IT. The third one is Mr. Le Hiu Yong. He is now the director of Danube and Engineering Company Limited. Its company specializes in manufacturing uh, automatic lines and machines under European standards. Solution, what would we do uh, with our strength of uh, research from uh, our founder? We uh, base um, uh, plan is that to uh, provide green technology methods to uh, recycle solar panel. We have five R characters: reception, regressify, recycling, reuse, and reduce. And these R characters will uh, uh, will also be the guideline for our for us to. Uh, develop our brand in the future. And here is the sample product. As I have mentioned, we have five R, reception, reclassify, recycling, reuse, and reduce. At the first step, reception, we will uh, build uh, and design an F named to Nestle to collect and to uh, store and process information from customer. Who are customer? They are maybe um, solar plants, solar farm, or any individual or organization who have solar panel waste. They all uh, can apply through our app. The second, the second step is to uh, reclassify. At this step, uh, we will use our, um, which we will use artificial intelligence to identify and uh, reclassify what uh, the solar panel modem, solar panel waste. Uh, they will help us uh, guess what's wrong and uh, what we would, what 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 we should do. Uh, what solar panel waste should be recycled, what solar panel waste uh, should be reused, or uh, what should be uh, reduced. Uh, the solar panel uh, which, uh, should be recycled. Uh, yes, we have um, the main method is to uh, crash them. We will crash them and bat them into different batches and then we uh, carry them to uh, other enterprises and uh, um, play other, other enterprises or places that have demand in uh, producing uh, them as uh, materials. And the last character is to reduce. Uh, we wish to reduce uh, the cost, the product cost, and the carbon dioxide uh, ambition to the environment at the lowest uh, level. In short, we uh, will uh, combine the artificial intelligence and automated uh, production system to solve our problem. The market, um, when we have 
uh, build the brand in our city, in our country. We will develop in it in uh, our region, Asia, and maybe in the future we will uh, uh, widen in all the continent on over the world. Under my uh, our project, it has just the first step. We just designed and have a testing uh, prototype testing, but also we also uh, do some calculation and estimates like that uh, with an uh, insurer capital of 5 billion, assume 20 percent growth up. Um, we can assume that uh, investor can recover their capital for uh, four years of coming by a uh, payback period uh, method. Um, uh, the message I would like to uh, uh, send to investor that although uh, our SME uh, has just been based on our um, insurer, insurer theories, but um, they, uh, however, uh, they may not have, they, they may happen and uh, maybe they uh, may change and uh, grow rapidly, uh, especially there is any support policy from uh, our government or our department. Uh, the last thing I uh, would like to say uh, is time for us to uh, protect, uh, to take on responsibility on uh, our society, to help young generation uh, uh, to master their uh, technology confidently. We could together um, help uh, build, uh, have to build a uh, circular economy. We all aim in a secular economy. Yes, thank you for your attention. Thank you and thank you again. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. It's very interesting and a very uh, important uh, issue now to solve this problem. So thank you for your idea and your work. So now we have the last uh, uh, guest. Uh, from the IPA, the Investment Promotion Agency uh, from Danang. Uh, we will have an overview about the business environment in the city uh, from Mr. Puk, the Deputy Director of the agency uh, that I can see in the screen. The floor is yours. Welcome and thank you to be here with us. Okay. We, we have some problem to hear you. Can you hear me? Can you? Is is very slow. I think the connection is slow. I, I don't know if it's mine, but I can see your screen. Can you uh, now? Better, a little bit better. I I think. Yeah, I'm sorry. My PC had broken, and so maybe you get trouble when we hear it. We'll try my best. Uh, uh, I can suggest to turn off your camera, uh, yes, if there is some problem with the connection, but now we can see your screen and your presentation, please. Yeah, so you can see my slide right now? Yes, it's still in, not in uh, uh, view, in presentation mood. We can put in, uh, in the mood, yes, better. Thank you. Is it please. Good? Yeah, it's okay now. Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay, good afternoon, everyone. It's 5 35 p.m. in Tokyo right now. I'm presenting with you from Tokyo, Japan. Yes, I got the midterm training in Japan, and thank that's why I like this event is to join uh, the webinar. That's why I asked you for change the time I present because I have no class. problem with, no problem okay, with thank that. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I would like to start with you, like, uh, the some just a brief about the investment environment in Danang. So in my presentation, I would like to say we use just four point of view. Danang overview, uh, why you should invest in Danang and investment opportunity in Danang. And the last one, the investment procedure and incentive. I don't think I have uh, enough time to say with you. So maybe just briefly about that and you can uh, read that from my material. 
Is that okay to you? And the first one, uh, Da Nang, just give you an overview of Da Nang. Da Nang City is the powerhouse central of Vietnam, and at this moment, we have a good relationship with like uh, Eurocharm, the enterprise com communities of Europe, and we got the you know the, the meeting with uh, Mr. Alan Kenny, president of uh, chairman of Eurocharm Vietnam, like five months ago, and we have a good relationship with like a lot of companies from Europe, and at this moment, Da Nang get attraction, get uh, like uh, attention. Uh, from the a lot of like foreign investor uh, because of the like we have like the good uh, investment uh, environment and very simple procedure public procedure so at this moment the GRDP of the the Danang just like uh, nearly five billion of US dollar and it's still growing uh, quite fast and in terms of the trade profile, Europe uh, country, so uh, in the first range uh, of the, the, uh, the, the, the list of the, the country uh, with invest in Danang, at the moment we have like 400 million in trade uh, value with uh, Europe country. And but in terms of the foreign data investment, uh, Europe country have a, like has um, not much and not not many uh, project come from Europe and so we 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 hope we can have a more project from Europe country and the company like GSC and other company from EU EU, EU to come to to Danang as a moment Japan and Singapore and USA are the three biggest investor foreign investor in Danang. And I hope to see maybe the picture have a more investor from Europe country to Danang. And why we should invest in Danang? At this moment, I would like to say with you like we have a five event advantage, main advantage to attract more um, invest investment in Danang. The first one is strategic location. You can see in the screen, Danang is the, the gateways of its great. Uh, like the east to west economic corridor of Asia. And the second one is uh, the city has to develop infrastructure and the Danang International Airport. At this moment, we have a like, direct uh, fly to EU through British Airways and uh, Lufthansa by airway from Germany. So we hope to have a more like fly, commercial flight direct from Danang to connect to the Europe country in the future. And we also have a, a high tech park. It's one of the three high tech park across Vietnam, one in Hanoi, the Ho Chi Minh City, and Da Nang. And we have a six industrial park with 86% occupied. And we are building three more industrial parks in the near future. And we have three IT parks already uh, to serve uh, with you already to serve and one uh, maybe come in, in next year. And we also have a, you know, a qualified workforce with a half of population, city population in the labor age, uh, and, you know, ready to, you know, provide you a quality, a high quality workforce for your project and for your company when you have project here in Dana City. And we have uh, like 10 university, 18 college, and 70 vocational center with more than 21,000 student graduates every year. Bring more qualified human resources for the economy. The fourth one is we provide one top shop service, and you can connect through IPA, my agency, and to answer on your question about the procedure and connect you to on the project and help you support to you to do project in Danang. And the fifth one is the quality of life. Danang is, uh, we are trying to build an environmental city, a city quite green, clean, and safe. At this moment, the, the, you know, the, uh, we have a uh, like affordable living cost, um, in compared to other city is more affordable and much and cheaper in Danang, right? Then, uh, 
another city in Vietnam. And the third one, I would like to share with you some investment opportunities. So we are in, we have like priority uh, to you know call for investment, such as uh, high tech industry, support industry, high tech agriculture, high quality service, infrastructure development projects and startup innovation projects that's uh, some priority we are calling for investment as well as coverage in the near future and we also have a like list of more than 36 projects are calling for uh, investment so you can scan the qr codes i already put on the, the screen so you you can scan that to get the the list you know, the specific with specific project so we can like connect we can cooperate together if you like have like um interactive in if you are interested in some project so we can uh, together uh, and in terms of like 36 projects i just would like emphasize uh, some like um, priority priority that we are we try to come in to come for investment the first one in manufacturing in high tech park, IT park, and industrial park, uh, we also uh, like introduce to your delegation delegation team when you uh, came to Da Nang last month or two months ago. So I would like you to like uh, provide information to all the com company to know about that. And we are we would like to con more investment in the high tech park and IT park. That's our priorities. And I think it's maybe um, in your list, your priority list, so we can cooperate together. And the second one in ICT industry, we have a, like already have two software pop only for investment and ready for the investor to do the project project in Danang. And the last one is investment procedure and incentive. I will like skip this one to save time for, for question and answer later. I would like to stay with you like we have a lot of like uh, incentive uh, policy for foreign investor. And as this moment, we have a lot of like we have a more than 900 foreign project in Danang, and we hope to have a more project uh, incorporate with um, the company from Europe in the future. So uh, for more information, I already said with you like my WhatsApp and email and also my LinkedIn. So you can uh, scan the QR code to connect uh, and to like discuss further uh, in the future. And thank you for your attention. Thank you. Hope, thank you very I much. I really hope that we have a good uh, discussion. Yeah, thank you very much for your overview. It's very interesting. We, uh, during our mission, we had the opportunity to see some of that. We see the beautiful place because the city is very uh, nice uh, and the airport is uh, a, a good airport to the port. Uh, so the infrastructures are uh, appealing for the business. And uh, just uh, a suggestion, spend some time there. I think that is uh, necessary to create some link with you to understand a little bit uh, the culture and the way you do business and you live. So the first suggestion would be uh, from us to be there sometimes uh, to connect uh, with them. Now you know them, so they are very friendly and we 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 felt very welcome. So thank you very much. And the food is great. So. This is another important thing, at least for us Italian people, the food, the, the, the nice food when we are abroad is very, very important. So uh, I can say that it was wonderful, your, your cuisine. So let me check if there is some question in the chat. Yes. Uh, uh, Katia, no just if you yeah. allow me, uh, I just would like to highlight that we were very impressed with all of your achievements there and we really enjoy because uh, each field of our sectors as a project had the time to know more about how is your improvement going and yes like for me it was a really good experience 
also to know how your company is working on becoming a green and a smart uh, city. And also, I would like to uh, thank you to the Polish agency to set up all the agenda because they were really um, was they were done a really good job setting all of the meetings and uh, being sure that uh, every field of our consortium uh, was into the project and having more knowledge about it. Thank so you. Let, now we can. I start with any questions or you already answered one operational question the recording will be shared yes all the material the recording of today webinar the slides if our speakers will share with us we will be glad to share with you all and also the report uh, uh, thanks to Anna and Lucia that uh, we have a very um, good report about our mission with all the information we collected. So if there is uh, some question, we can write uh, in the chat. I can see no for now, nothing. Okay. So I don't know if uh, uh, there is no other speech or intervention for the last uh, minute. I will uh, end this webinar. Thank you again, our guests. Uh, well, I, I will I will have some uh, one questions for Mr. Lipuk. I'm so sorry about the, the spelling. Uh, I mean, it's it's um, your uh, projects ongoing already working with European countries and you are uh, having a, a specific line to collaborate together or is just um, not uh, developed yet? I'm sorry, it's like my speaker is broken. It's quite uh, like, uh, hard to listen to you. Can you say again? Yes, I was I'm not sure. asking. So, Mr. Uh, Hua, please take note for me so I can answer. Believe, believe I me, was uh, ask, 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 ask the question again. I'm sorry. OK, uh, I was asking if you have already on a specific line to collaborate with European countries. You would like to. Uh, Mr. Hoa, are you there? Yeah, I will um, uh, uh, no. uh, drive it into the, um, into, in the chat, OK? Uh, sorry, I just talk in Vietnamese with Mr. Hoa. Um, um, so please write, please write, please write. Right, right on the chat. I can't hear you. Uh, okay. I'm so sorry. My speaker is, is, is broken. I'm so sorry. So sorry about that. So we will wait for uh, Gabriela to write the, the question in the chat. Yes, so thank you. everybody can see the, the, the yes. question. And we have another question in the chat. Uh, if do the IPA agency, uh, how can uh, European companies get to know about tenders in Vietnam? So you can read the, also this. Okay, I can see in Vietnamese in the chat the answer. I don't know if it's for. Uh, it's just my uh, note to make the pop so it's okay. easy to, to get the, uh, the key. Okay. Or otherwise, I can translate with uh, the wonderful tool we have, the Google Translator, that I can just check your answer or we wait. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you for, for the question from uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Graviella. So in the future, we do have a like, um, uh, plan to connect with more uh, pro, uh, investor from Jura. Uh, last month, we have a like a delegation team uh, with a list by the the vice president of Dana City come to uh, England, Netherlands, and Germany, and we don't already have uh, some MOU uh, to connect more. That's one the, the, the one way to connect with the Zero company 
and the second one, I would like to connect with all of you, the FSCs. So, so we have a two way to co cooperate. We have a two way to cooperate. The first one, uh, we can you we already provide you the list of like thirty six projects we are calling for investment. You can look at that, and if like you have some company and some investor who have the capacities to invest on that, we can cooperate. We have a like more difficult. Uh, we have more discussion in the future. The second one, I will like provide you the list of like company of Danang. We have like uh, two thousand company, more than two thousand company ready to cooperate with foreign investor. Uh, so we can make the our demand and our uh, by um, we can uh, find the you know identical purpose. If we have a similar purpose, we have a similar goal. We can cooperate together. This is the second way we can do in the future. So maybe we can focus on IT information technology, the renewable energy, and something like that. Just give me like some like specific like what are you interested in and what you are looking for cooperation. So we can connect. We can connect you with, with the specific company in Danang. So it's I think it's better way. So I would like in, in summary, there are two ways we can cooperate together. The first one we can work on existing project we are calling for invest. The second one is we can like, you know, work with like some private company in Dana and we can connect with you. Uh, more than 2000 company already to work with you. For example, like Innovo today and some other university in Dana. Is that make sense to you? Yes, yes, I think you answer very well uh, to the. Yeah, I'm so sorry Thank you. because my uh, speaker is broken. I can't hear you uh, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about you, there, there is another uh, uh, big question in the chat in uh, in English from Adriana Battaglia. Is asking why companies, European companies, I I assume, should invest in Vietnam rather than investing in other Asian countries like, for example, China. Okay, thank you for the question. It's, it's a quite good question from Ariana yeah. Batala. So it's really difficult question. But I would like to like start with some like very general, very, just briefly. The first one is this movement. Uh, we have a train, you know, uh, in investor, foreign investor, they have a train to leave uh, China to other country due to like some problem uh, China has facing. The first one is the COVID-19, zero COVID-19 policy of them. The second one is the US and China war, trade war. At the moment, a lot of companies are leaving China and they move their facility to other country. For example, like Vietnam, Singapore, Indonesia, and Thailand. It's the first reason. The second one, as it's movement, Vietnam had a lot of like incentive policy, a lot of good policy to you know support to foreign investor. If the company invests in Vietnam right now, you have a lot of like advantage, uh, like uh, tax tax incentive, like tax uh, extension, tax reduction, uh, and we have a lot of like uh, available landscape, a lot of land to come for project at this moment. I would like to emphasize on two main reasons. That's why I come to Vietnam. And there are lots of reports from OECD, from ADB, from World Bank, IMF. Uh, that's, you know, mm, illustrates for what I'm talking to you at the moment. So that's why the company is in Thank Vietnam you. raising other countries like China. Yeah, very, very clear, I think, Adriana. And uh, if you know, thank you, Adriana will thank you. Yes, and um, we will share more more documents and information. So uh, if you are curious about that, we, we need to close now uh, because we uh, ended our time today for the webinar. Gabriella, are you uh, OK with that? We can uh, close the webinar. Thanks all the speakers and say that uh, we will share all the material. So if uh, someone uh, is interested in make some contact with uh, them or with other 
uh, institutions and uh, companies that we met in our mission. Contact your cluster manager and ask for information and contacts. So there is. Thank you. Webinar so interesting. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. So um, thank you to to everybody. Yeah. I soon to see you. I hope to see you soon, perhaps in Vietnam again, or even in Italy or in Europe. So we will uh, welcome to be here one day. I hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you to everybody and have a nice uh, night there or yeah. <laughs> a here. We are in the morning here. So thank yes. you. Thank, thank you, you so much to everyone. You have already our contacts. Please feel free to take in us into account to any collaboration you will need. Uh, you also have uh, our members absolutely um, interested in your market. Thank you so much.